It's James Love back at it, man. We headed up to the training table. Gotta get the breakfast in and have a successful day. Uh, yeah, let's go get this food in, man. I ain't the morning person at all. It's about 7.45. Got study table at eight. Practice at two. Headed to performance table. They got a mad variety of food. How you doing? Good morning, good morning. Hey, Lebo. I gotta say what's good to you. You know, I see my main man's Lebo in here, bro. Say what's good, Lebo. Good, good. Yes, sir, yes, sir. That boy getting his work here, too. We in Veneer now, where all the studying goes on. You know, student athletes, man. Before we came to Veneer, we used to be at uh, Hell Library before it burned down in the fire. Say hi, Connor. Hi. Yes, ma'am. Hey, say what's up to Iron Man. Yes, sir, back. What's going on, man? <laughs> One of my favorite ladies. Oh my gosh, no. Miss Leanne. Cameras, more cameras. <laughs> Is this why you're finally here on time? Oh, that's crazy, Miss Leanne. I'm always here. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the James love story, really? Yes, ma'am. I've known him since he was as tall as me when he was two. <laughs> For the last 18 years, I've been the academic counselor for men's basketball. And just recently, I took on a new position. I'm the director of special learning and tutor programs. Is that new? I basically now am a learning specialist. And then I also schedule all of the tutor and test review sessions. And as of yesterday, we had scheduled 1,169 hours of tutoring sessions. So roughly 295 sessions a day. Miss Leanne, it's like, it's like my second mom here, you know, she, she's always on my back, it's like my real mother, but, and I love her for that, and she, like I said, she does a great job with us and just helping us in any aspect that we need. They're all about you. They're, they're willing to do whatever you need, whatever it takes for you to get your degree as fast as possible and at your pace. They always push us to do better, and they're always some of our biggest supporters on, on and off the court, so they do a great job with us. They do a great job over there at Veneer and how they've adjusted through the adversity of not being able to go to hell. It's definitely been a change, especially for a lot of my teammates. I know they use that daytime study table between classes. It was perfect, you know, central location uh, with Hale Library. So it was kind of sad to see all of that destroyed. The main library on K-State's campus, Hale Library, is closed tonight after a fire broke out in the building. Manhattan Fire, along with Fort Riley Fire and the Red Cross, helped out. Crews were able to put the fire out. The university says the library will be closed until further notice. May 22nd, we were in the Learning Center and they'd been tarring all day. The smell changed, it didn't smell like tar anymore. And I went into the mural room, Rebecca was in there working with a football player and there was smoke above their heads, white smoke. And what had happened that morning is they'd been welding some things and they sealed it and an ember got caught under there and they didn't know it. So it had sat on the wood of the attic above us, smoldering, and then it caught fire. We went down the stairs and, and we got out and there were two fire engines and when the firemen got up there, then things just started happening like that. They were running everywhere and before we knew it, there were seven fire engines there and it was like my home burned down. 18 years worth of my personal and professional stuff was all gone and we, there was nothing left, no computers, no furniture, no books, no anything. I knew it was going to be devastating for all, not just the athletes, but everybody on campus. It affects everybody. And as far as the athletes, I just truly understand that it's such a special place that they have, and I've seen it up front, and there's nothing else like it. When we first were here for the first few weeks, Megan was turning over every rock on that campus to see if we could find a place that would be able to house us. My understanding, it will go way beyond this next year that they might not even be able to get into the Hale Library. People see the outside of the library and they think, eh, it wasn't that bad, but there is no inside to the library left. All five floors have been completely demolished, taken apart to the girders, and they're rebuilding it from the first floor up. James Love leaving study hall, about to head to practice. Yes, sir. Everyday life. Hey, shout out to all the people back home, mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, other family members, friends, love y'all, man. Going into one of the places I'm in, I'm at every day, IBC. 
Ready to go to practice, compete with the boys today. Beautiful place, man. This is 24 hours, I can come in anytime I want, put up extra shots. Yeah, say what's up to the boys, man. Got Jada in the back, young Patty, Dean Wolf, that boy Cam Stokes, <laughs> PJ, PJ McAtee, Mac. Yes, sir. My boy Josh, man. Facts. This is our locker room, you know, my spot right here. J Love, baby. Shout out to the Dell, man. 305. You know, it's a nice place to be. The treatment room, man. Got my boys next to me. Javi Sneed. My boy Wes, man, you know, the GOAT. My man Luke, who did a lot for me. Still keeping me going. Well, say what's up, Luke. Say what's up, Luke. That's crazy. Stretching, you know, long behind legs. My legs about taller than him. You know, they gave me right before practice, you know, perform my best. Come in. That's it, man. You know, we out of the training room now, get ready to head to practice. My boy Levo, man. AT. Oh, oh no! That man's a clown, bro. Dang. Say bye to my man's Lou. Oh, we can't forget Mike McBuckets, man. Hold up. Man. Talk to him, Mike. Talk to him, man. You know what it is, man. <laughs> And, you know, I expect us to have success this year, but we got to keep our head about us, you know, throughout the course of the season and, and stay humble and help your team. You know, now where are you? How much progress have you made? And so it's, you've got to keep making progress. You've got to learn stuff. Practice has been great. I'm, I've been loving it. We've been running more. We're our best when we're in transition. And that's what coach wants to do. We don't want to be setting up for plays and stuff like that when, we, when we're so good in the fast break. And it really starts with getting that defensive rebound and pushing the ball. You know, we were probably in the bottom tier of Big 12 and rebounding, so that was one of the things we've been emphasizing on this whole this whole break over the past season. And we don't want to take any steps back. We're trying to take advantage of each and every day and move forward. You know, it's not thinking about the results about last year. I think those are good confidence boosters and it kind of shows us what we are capable of. But we finished fourth in the Big 12 and we thought that we could finish a lot higher than that. And we have some of those top teams to knock down and there's other teams that we beat last year that are getting better as well. So there's no real complacency around here. I think it's all attacking each day as it is and trying to come together. Nice long day at practice. We out here supporting the girls soccer team versus KU. Uh, my boy Xavier Sneed, Demaria, Savvy, you know, enjoying it. Uh, one of my favorites is probably number 29. She's probably one of the coldest players in the 12, easily. Hey, we about, we about to go get the student section rowdy. Hey, I'm going to need y'all to make some noise for me, man. Yeah. All right, J-Love out, man. Let's get this win, girls.